All right, everyone. Well, the storm passed through uh, just like they said it would. <laughs> wow, man, that's crazy. Had a nice downpour of rain, some strong winds, uh, some thunder, lightning. Man, it was it was great. Stayed nice and dry in this tent. Uh, it's the first time uh, this tent being rain tested, and it held up uh, held up nice. Like I said, uh, nice and dry. All the um, seams held up good. I have my uh, backpack in that vestibule. Got some firewood underneath that one. Keeping everything nice and dry. Yeah, it's, uh, it's nice out now. I can hear some cattle over to the west. Every bullfrog in the county is uh, singing their song. And then I can hear a train in the background. So, uh, yeah, no fire tonight, but maybe maybe in the morning. I'm just going to have me a whiskey and a cigar, and then I'm jumping back in and going to watch some uh, YouTube videos. So uh, we will catch you all in the morning. All right, guys. Good morning. Welcome to my camp. It is well. It's eleven o'clock right now. So, having a late. Uh, I'm having a brunch, I guess. Got some coffee going. Got enough for a couple of cups. I'll put that there. Hmm. Yep. Still a little warm. All right. Yep. Uh, gonna pick some. Uh, you guessed it, some scrambled eggs again. I'm all mixed up in my jar. This is a copy I'm uh, trying out this Juan Valdez. Seen it at Walmart. I'd give it a try. It's pretty good. So anyway, what I got here is I have, uh, I'm going to fry up with my eggs. I got some uh, deer sausage and then some uh, deer uh, salami. And um, I'm gonna fry some of that up first and then I'll get my eggs going. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is, uh, this is a deer we got this last season. Me and my brother. This is actually, uh, was a muley doe. cheese in it make sure you take the take the skin off of it all right some good stuff and then I will get it uh, I guess I'll cut this up on Bunch of little pieces. Already had my pan on the fire for a little bit. Mmm, good stuff. Hold on a bit. I'm going to put you on pause and I'll get right back to you. All right, folks. Uh, I'm going to let that uh, deer salami mm. oh, That's good. It's not hot. It's not spicy. It's just Good, good, uh, mealy dough, um, 
full army. It's uh it's a cool thing when you if you're if you if you're a hunter and go out and harvest the deer and then get it processed. We had we had this one processed, we didn't do it ourselves. But we're gonna be we're gonna be doing it more um, this next year. But um, when you go out and harvest the deer, and then you have it processed, and then you come out here to a nice camp and cook up what you harvested, it's it's uh that's cool. So anyway, I'm gonna let that the salami and sausage fry up a little bit, and then I'll throw in my scrambled eggs. Um, when I was getting all this ready, a turkey ran across through here. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't get the camera set up to get any video of it, but, uh, yeah, we'll have a little breakfast and then, uh, I'll, uh, tell you about this place. This is the Buffalo Bill Campground and it is my fifth camp out so far this year. My second Nebraska camping state recreation areas so all right we'll get back to you in a little bit day Oh yeah. This is about ready. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Got some cloud cover. All right, I'd say that's about it. It's time to eat. All right, everyone, check it out. Almost uh, finished it off. I didn't want to feed my face in front of you for very long. So anyway, um, yeah, deer salami, deer sausage, fried up for a little while, with along with some. Uh, um, good fresh farm uh, chicken eggs. A nice cup of coffee is the bomb. Um, I cooked it all on uh, Fab Creations uh, little rocket stove, the little Nero. Worked great, man. Worked great. With coffee too. So, anyway, we'll finish this up and um, we're at the Buffalo Bill uh, State Rec area. Um, there's probably, I'm going to say maybe 10 or 12 primitive campsites. And then off over there, there's that uh, 25 electrical hookups with, uh, nice bathrooms. I don't think they got showers over there. I'll drive around it on my way out, but, um, but anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a cool place. And then there's a little, a part of the, the Platte river, um, streams through it so it's not very deep it's not uh fast water so you can go out there and you know when it's hot out and swim and i've seen people fishing in there too so carp catfish whatever but anyway yeah it's a it's a, it's a cool campground and then uh, with the thunderstorm last night the teton sports um mountain ultra one person tent held up really good stayed nice and dry and slept uh, slept awesome 
Um, heard some coyotes howling. Some were up over this direction, and then some were up over in this direction. That was like two o'clock in the morning. And they were, they just had to have been on the other side of the river there. They were close. Sounded like it anyway, so that was pretty cool. So anyway, I'm gonna finish this up and then uh, pan around and show you the campground. All right, everyone, uh, I'm just going to show you where I'm at, pan around here a little bit. Um, here's my awesome little campsite. And then uh, I'll just go around here. You just uh, you just feel like you're out in the woods camping at this place. So if you can see right about right there, that trail, there's some more some more cut out uh, camp spots, like kind of like this one here. This is kind of a big one, but... And then there's another one. Well, there's one, there's one there. And then there's one there, but no fire pits. There used to be. But anyway, just uh, chilling out, enjoying the nice day. Go get my pots and pans uh, cleaned up, get some of my stuff packed up and organized. And then I'll uh, show you around uh, the rest of this uh, cool little campground. guys just driving through the electrical campsites right next to the I believe it's the north or Platte River they're all empty Can't see that, but they're horse trail rides. See, so there's the part of the river that runs through it. Got uh, nice bathrooms. Picnic area. Yeah. Out here fishing. Catfish and carp. All right, here's something uh, the Buffalo Bill Recreation Area provides as an archery range. Right over here it tells you all about the rules and stuff. There's your uh, targets, all your different dis distances. And then uh, this kind of gives you an idea how much uh, rain we got last night. My tent was nice and dry. All right, hold on a minute. All right, there's uh, some more primitive camping. This campground is, uh, it just makes one, one loop all the way around it one way. And uh, it's pretty cool. We got a place here where you can uh, cut some firewood, but it's uh, running on empty. Another, uh, more primitive camping. Yeah, it's a well-maintained uh, place. I'll have to come over on this side uh, next time. So, yeah, pretty cool. Let's see what else I can show you. All right. Right here is where you can observe uh, sandhill cranes. There's some uh, crane viewing tips. Cranes in the wet meadows of the Platte River. Oh yeah. But they're, they, they're not out here now. We just got a bunch of cattle. This is Nebraska. This is, this is a cattle country. And they're all having calves. And you can bet your ass them coyotes that I was hearing last night 
they're running around over here trying to get these calves. I'm have to find out who owns this and see if uh, they need me to come in here and kill a few of them. Anyway, down the road we go, see if I got anything else I can show you. Yeah, the thing I forgot to mention was uh, right over there, that's where Buffalo Bill himself uh, lived. I'll do a video of that uh, another time. It's pretty cool, though. All right, folks. Uh, hope you enjoyed that video. The Buffalo Bill State Recreation Area. I am just pulling in at home. That place is only like three miles away, so you can do archery out there, swim and fish in the river. It's a good camping and uh, a little bit of wildlife.